Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is your tropical update for November 6th. We're currently watching Invest 97L as well as Invest 98L, both with high chances of development from the National Hurricane Center. As we can see today, Invest 97L still located over the central Atlantic, beginning to experience shear due to the very large envelope of convection associated with Invest 98L. As we can see, uh, again, the central Atlantic is where we have 97L, that little kind of blip right next to the tag I have there. And then just the northeast of where I labeled Invest 98L is where the center of that system is currently located. As we can see from the impact map, chances of significant impacts have increased to moderate risk for the northern Bahamas as well as the Atlantic coast from about Miami to Orlando, Florida, where we can see hurricane category one hurricane impacts as well as storm surge for those areas. Rainfall will also be a concern especially due to the potential zigzag nature, as I've mentioned in the previous couple videos, on uh, 98L's future. Again, that's that area of interest we've been watching, finally tagged Invest 98L uh, earlier today. And so as we can see, much of Florida, if not the entire state, save the panhandle, will experience some sort of tropical activity due to 98L, as well as much of the Bahamas, especially the northern half of those areas. Here's 97L. You can see the shear coming across due to the outflow basically of 98L. Uh, but if you look down below those upper serious clouds below that, you can see a little bit of a little of a swirl and some displaced convection off to the northeast of the center of the storm. As a result of that, if that convection gets a little closer to the center, we could see a tropical storm here shortly. Hurricane Center giving a 70% chance of that happening. It'll stay away from land, which is a good thing and also be short-lived. Here's 98L, as you can see, uh, it's beginning to get that rotation down. The convection's still removed a little bit from the center, so uh, in the center isn't perfectly well-defined. I think it's a little elongated might be another thing that the Hurricane Center is looking at at the moment. So it's still not quite there, but it's definitely getting there. As you can see, a lot of convection associated with it. This storm could be a decent one, as we see now an 80% chance of formation Within the next 48 hours, 90 within the next five days. The pressure is already fairly low with this at 1,005 millibars. So that's something we would expect of uh, a, a strengthening tropical depression to tropical storm or a mid-grade tropical storm. Uh, and so again, tropical alert going to be in effect for those northern Bahamas and Florida, as I mentioned earlier, especially uh, the, the main peninsula of Florida uh, and even more so on the Atlantic coast where we could see storm surge impacts. Storm surge watches as well as hurricane watches and tropical storm watches are all possible beginning Monday. According to the Hurricane Center, uh, they have mentioned that watches will likely be needed by Monday for areas in the Bahamas as well as Florida and will continue to monitor that all hazards possible due to 98L. That's flooding, storm surge, wind, and tornadoes. Uh, and, and again, the winds aren't probably going to be a tropical storm. It's probably going to be a Cat 1, Cat 2 hurricane. Um, and if the GFS has his it has its way, uh, it might be a little more favorable than even that. So again, storm surge is going to be concerned, especially if those winds do increase to Category 1 strength. Only a few of the models have initialized on 98L so far, and so uh, we really don't have all the data we need to say for sure how strong this storm is going to get. We'll probably have a better idea uh, later this afternoon, this evening, uh, and certainly by tomorrow we'll have a real good idea, I think, of, of where 98L is going to be in its intensity later on. As you can see from the European model, much more support today than yesterday. Just real quick, here's yesterday's European model of very little and relatively weak scattered support for 98L, but still there. It certainly had it developing. And then, of course, today, a much different story, as we can see with uh, uh, almost everybody uh, taking the storm into Florida as a tropical storm or low-end hurricane um, and, and causing basically trouble throughout the entire southeastern United States with that kind of zigzag motion where it comes in, hits Florida, uh, and then zigs zags back out uh, uh, along the Atlantic seaboard, the southern Atlantic seaboard. So uh, whether or not that happens is one scenario, according to the European, but if we look at the GFS, it takes it a bit more further. So instead of zagging right away, it zigs over Florida, perhaps even makes it into the Gulf, uh, perhaps even strengthens into a Category 2 or 3 hurricane before hitting Florida, uh, again on the Atlantic side, It'll weaken a little bit, still could be a Cat 1 hurricane before it zags back over 
and hits the Atlantic side, say, uh, looking north of Tampa is probably if the GFS has its way, uh, and then zags back up and, again, affects the southeastern United States rather significantly. So at this point in time, my main concern is going to be most of Florida, where you could see all sorts of tropical impacts. Uh, again, that that's kind of the deal. It's, it, I mean, yeah, I know it's November, but tropical uh, concerns are certainly a thing, especially with what we're seeing come into play here with Invest 98L. I'll have more tomorrow. That's it for now. Chris Hicks and the Feather, Catholic Media.